Hi everyone, this is RC from Hello Bucks Trading Post. The gun shop inside the antique shop, or is it an antique shop inside a gun shop? You be the judge. Today we got a weird one for you. It's the Calico M100, 22 long rifle rifle. It looks like something out of Star Wars. Does something this weird shoot? You bet it does. Pretty fun. Earthling, hand me the Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. No, no, no. That's not the Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. That's the Calico M100. So here's one that most of you probably haven't seen before. The Calico M100 22 semi-auto rifle. Pretty cutting edge, very innovative uh, throughout. They pretty much threw away this, the standard book on 22 rifles and thought outside the box on this one. It's something that you would uh, expect to see from Caltech today, and this was originally developed back in the 80s. Uh, one of the most, uh, one of the first things that stick out when you look at the rifles is the unusual magazine. It has a hundred round helical magazine. When you load the rounds here, it's kind of like a spiral staircase and it loads in, into the magazine, holds 100 rounds. And then there's a little knob on the end and you wind that knob to increase spring tension, which you need to do for the rifle to feed um, uh, correctly. And then when you want to re release the spring, you just push that little button right there, and it releases the spring tension. So that's, that's the first thing that strikes you about this weapon. Um, it has a 16-inch barrel, semi-auto, blowback, of course. Weighs about uh, 4 pounds empty, and when fully loaded, depending on what ammo you put in it, it's about 5.5 pounds fully loaded. has a telescoping folding stock that comes out like this. Kind of a weird thing there. Aluminum receiver, overall length when, with the stock extended is just under 36 inches. And uh, you can still buy this weapon today. The company originally started back in uh, 1982 in, in Bakersfield, California. Uh, released its first weapon in 1985. Um, remarkable that something like this was developed in California. Go figure. In uh, 1998, the company was moved to Sparks, Nevada. And they sold a lot of replacement parts for existing weapons at that time. And then in 2006, Calico was sold again, and they moved to uh, Hillsboro, Oregon, easy for me to say, where full production resumed. Uh, and today, the company's based in Elgin, uh, Oregon. They also made a 9mm rifle and a 9mm pistol, which we won't be reviewing today. And lastly, I found this pretty interesting. In 2012 at the SHOT Show, they uh, had a prototype 12-gauge shotgun, but it never went into development. So it looks like they, they tried to branch out into other areas. But nonetheless, this is quite, quite an interesting rifle, and we'll give you some more close-up details on it. So let's show you some close-up details about this rifle. Again, we'll start with the folding stock. There's a little button here that pivots the buttstock, and then there's a catch here. You push that in, that allows it to telescope in a little bit, and then the whole shebang folds underneath like that. Pretty remarkable. There's no, really no catch that holds it. It, uh, it stays in place pretty good, and it's much more comfortable to fire with the stock fully extended. Again, there's that 100 round mag that we spoke of. There's the winding knob on the end and the push button that uh, releases the spring tension. Sights are very interesting on this. They incorporated the rear sight right here. Somebody put a dab of white on there to help it to help outline it. Uh, these are kind of tricky sights to see. You need decent eyes. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that big a deal. So looking down the weapon here, there's the rear sight. Let's see if I can get this for you. And you can kind of 
envision, I think. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. There's your sight picture. Forearm is M16-ish. Forward swivel there. Even the adjustment for the rear sight is, is kind of different. Again, AR15-ish there. There's your elevation adjustment there. Pretty wild. I'm not going to call it a flash hider, but it's a, it's a laser gun. It's something you would expect to go pew, pew when you shoot it. <laughs> Pretty cool. There's a storage this little storage compartment under the pistol grip here for whatever. You can put extra rounds in there or whatever. Looking at the other side here, here's your manual safety. This is your charging handle. Again, the storage compartment under the grip. The release for the magazine, you squeeze it. There's two little catches right here, one on either side. And you just kind of squeeze that in like this and remove the mag. With the mag re removed, cleaning is, cleaning is exceptionally easy. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So there's your, there's your bolt. You pull that charging handle back, there's your cylinder. So very easy to clean. As we all know, 22s get loaded up fairly easy, get pretty dirty. So it's a pretty unique rifle. These appeared in several movies. Uh, one movie in general that most people probably heard of is back in 1987, the movie Spaceballs. This movie was featured in there as a, as a prop. Uh, th there are other movies as well where it made an appearance. I believe there was a sci-fi short-run um, series where this rifle also appeared and again today the company is still in business they're based out of uh, Oregon they do sell this model brand new it's gonna cost you about 625 to 650 and it's, it's a very interesting rifle and one of the things we love here at the trading post something unique something weird something different so there you have it the Calico M100 22 rifle something definitely unique worth looking for. If you run across one, definitely pick it up. It's a great addition to any collection. It really is a head turner. It's something that you just don't see. They're not really rare, but uh, you just don't see them. So if you have an opportunity, pick one up, add it to your collection. They're a load of fun. Thank you again for watching. we got more videos coming your way. Please subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends and help us grow. <laughs> Today we got a really weird one for you. It's the Calico M100. 22 long rifle. Rifle. Looks like something out of Star Wars. Just wondering if this thing shoots. Nope, I guess not.